Yo, what up, is Don? Sammy Lee here. Back up in it with a review. Ooh. Casual slash semi performance. Did you did you put any miles on in on these? Yeah, not um, like like a mile. You didn't run a marathon? <laughs> Fuck no. Dude. <laughs> so I was just walking around this. I obviously I did run on the treadmill and I was playing in these, which we'll do a dozen basketball in another video. And I was running around and stuff. So uh, mostly a casual review though. I'm yeah. not I'm not like an avid runner or anything. It is a hundred bucks. This is the free run 5.0, I believe. It's a 5.0. Yeah, it says 5.0. The legendary, the infamous free run. Yes. Um, so uh, they redesigned it. Uh, I, I feel like the free run kind of died. Like the 2.0, 1.0, 3.0, even the 3.0 I think was like big. Um, so this is the redesigned version. Let's get start off with the traction or I guess you don't really have it. You have, you have rubber here. Yeah, you have a lot of little, rubber. This little neon is rubber. The rest <laughs> is foam. Exactly. Uh, your outsole is the midsole. Exactly. It's all foam. Um, it is. Uh, I I've had free runs before, and it, it is pretty durable. Yeah. But uh, comparing it to rubber, it's uh, obviously you know not as durable. But uh, they're trying to shed weight exactly anywhere exactly. they can. Yeah. So. This shoe is stupid light, which we'll get into. Yes, and of course you do have the outsole flex grooves. I guess it is the midsole slash outsole. So yeah. they took it to another level here. It's in the heel. Dude. The articulation Holy is crap. It's a snake. That is insane. Yeah, it's really, I mean, you can really roll it up easy. There's really no rigidity in the midsole at all. Exactly, no no midfoot shank plate or anything. They want it to feel like you're not wearing a shoe. You know, yeah. you don't need torsional support or anything. You're just uh, casually walking around, or I guess like running too, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, there's, there's different schools of thought when, when thinking about running, and some people feel that, you know, a free run, a free ride is best for your body, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't see that, but maybe, you know, I'm also not an avid runner, so. But there are, it goes both ways though. Like yeah. for marathon runners, there's a lot of uh, people that wear just, actually just barefoot. Yeah. And there's a guy that ran in Crocs. <laughs> oh, and yeah. there's the guys that are like sponsored by Nike. He has like the world record for like the fastest marathon, yeah. or whatever. And he wore the very, very cushioned Nike Vapor, whatever, you know? Yeah. So it all depends on what you like. Yeah, your body will, you know, do what it's told. It'll exactly. adapt to whatever, which is exactly. pretty crazy. But and it's also like your uh, your style of running yeah. or whatever um, that that's affected by the shoes as well. In this, obviously, like moving on to the cushion, very 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 low to the ground. I mean, look at that. Look at that in the freaking yeah. forefoot, dude. In um, the heel, also very very thin. I mean, that's that's what you that's what they go for here. So do you feel any compression? Uh, not really, dude. I mean, um, maybe a little little tiny bit just in the to heel. keep your teeth from chattering exactly exactly give you a little bit yeah so um but overall yeah impact reduction sucks uh but you definitely can run from heel to toe like this yeah if you're running running barefoot you don't Oof. do that you're, you're gonna ruin your heels so i don't they, know how people do that man yeah they no they just walk on their toes like this. i don't know how they even do that <laughs> yeah exactly but yeah. uh if you're barefoot if you're a barefoot running that's how they run but in this shoe obviously uh you have a little bit of here in the heel so you can kind of go like this and have a smooth ride. But the articulation while you're walking and running, it just feels so good. Right. It feels really good, you know, comparing it to like, even like uh, the Vapor Streets and Epic Reacts, it feel, it's like on the next level. Even though the Epic React is like still really like flexible and yeah. stuff, this just feels like on a different level. It just, it feels great. You it's know? truly minimalist. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, obviously cushion, like if you want like something soft and with a lot of compression while you're just walking around, you're not gonna get it here. Um, but if you want something very minimal and you know very light and low to the ground, this is probably like the best shoe you can get. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So uh, there's the cushion. Moving on to the materials, you have a single layer mesh very thin i'm not excited about that i mean it's like it, it doesn't feel great in hand like the quality isn't great there's a little bit of stretch to it throughout the entire mesh upper you have a, a little bit of like real shit suede material yeah, that kind of acts felt. like yeah it feels um, yeah it, 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 it already kind of looks like a water shoe which we'll get into aesthetic later but exactly exactly the material makes it look even more so like a water shoe yeah. like for real like it's a water shoe exactly um it, yeah it just you know the free ones like Generally looked pretty dope with the fly knits, with yeah. The, you know, especially when they implemented the fly knit, it was yeah. a nice material. Yeah, I think it's a touch of a downgrade. It is, it is. Uh, yeah. It feels great on foot, though. I mean, really thin, very minimal, stretchy. 
Uh, very soft, conforms to your foot really well. You don't have to break it in. There's no pinching or anything. I mean, I don't even use, I didn't even tighten the laces. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I never even used <laughs> Yeah, it's never it's even still, went off the thing. Yeah. I, I, I don't, you, you don't need to, you nah. know? So, uh, I don't even, I guess the laces are for just a little bit. Uh, like if you want to tighten it just a little bit, but you don't really need the laces. No. Uh, so materials on foot, it feels great, very minimal, but I mean, the quality and just like looking at it, it doesn't look great. How much know? is this shoe? A hundred bucks. Okay, that's why. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cheap. Yeah, exactly. Um, moving on to the fit. So the fit, I went down half a size, and mm -hmm. I like to have these types of shoes, especially where the upper is really stretchy, to be super tight, and that's how it felt. Um, at first it's really tight, you know, like it's, I mean, it's like a pancake right there. <laughs> exactly, you know, like it, nuts. it's really easy to slide on and stuff, but it's real tight. Um, but it, it did, you know, stretch out, it broke mm -hmm. in a little bit and now it fits a little bit looser. So at first if it's a little tight or maybe even just a little uncomfortable as far as tightness goes, you should be okay. It does stretch out, but if it's too tight, especially width wise, then, you know, you should probably like, uh, get a different size, go up half size mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's real tight in the toe and width wise it's pretty narrow. So mm -hmm. watch out for that, but it does break in. So there's that. Uh, moving on to the weight. This is just nuts. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the lightest shoe we've probably ever weighed. Yeah, 6.74 ounces. Dude, mm -hmm. I mean, look, it's very, very light. Yeah. It feels it's, like a feather, you know? Nuts. And one of the most minimal feeling shoes um, ever. You know that you can probably get right now. I'm trying to think. Like, I guess the Epic Reacts are also very minimal, but like. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's other there's like the New Balance Minimus. What is that thing called? No idea. And then there's the uh, Vibram. Oh yeah. The, to the toe <laughs> yeah. shoe. Those yeah, yeah, are yeah, crazy yeah. minimal too. Yeah, exactly. But I, those don't. You're you're not. Don't worry, yeah. about, man. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's move on to ventilation. Very very good. Uh, super cold actually, you know, you can feel like a little breeze going through a single layer mesh and uh, I mean, I, I feel like it's going to be a very good summer shoe once it, uh, when yeah. summer uh, comes around, it's going to be real nice yeah. for ventilation. Especially if you plan on swimming or going in the ocean, <laughs> yeah. it's a water shoe. Exactly, so. exactly. Durability is probably not going to be incredible, no, right? Probably not, no. Uh -huh. You have a single layer material yeah. and you have basically have no outsole, it's just a midsole. So, I'm probably going to run through this pretty quickly. Yeah, totally. Um, aesthetics, nope. negative. Nope, nope, nope. That's a strong negative. You know, this is a casual review, and aesthetics are big uh, for most people in regards to casual. I don't know. Do you guys like these? I mean, what was Nike thinking? Them. I mean, yeah, most I people wore the free runs because it was so dope looking. Yeah. Also, I guess, like, kind of comfortable if you're going for a minimal vibe, but uh, it, it was dope. Yeah. And then they, I think they fucked up with this. Like, I think what so. What is this, man? Tinker, what, what is this? I think Tinker did this? I think Tinker designed these, man. Tinker needs to chill. <laughs> Somebody needs to get Tinker uh, a hobby or something. No, I can't disrespect the goat. <laughs> But yeah. I think that I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways, 100 bucks. I mean, it was a, it's a little different. Like for me, especially for casual shoes, I, I hate wearing like Jordan Jordan ones or whatever casually because they're so stiff. Especially yeah. you know the cushion and the leather being you know stiff sometimes. You know I don't like wearing those casually. So I'm really big on like very soft mushy cushions like the Epic Reacts, you know, Vapor Streets, you know, Ultra Boost or whatever. So mm -hmm. this was kind of different, but I kind of enjoyed it, dude. Yeah. Like, I like that minimal, very low to the ground. It feels like you're wearing nothing type of shoe. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not going to be like an everyday thing as far as like, uh, I, I really, I, I like to have a thick cushion for casual mm -hmm. shoes, but it was a nice little change up. And, um, Do you need to like sneak in somewhere <laughs> or something yeah, or exactly. you're like practicing to be a ninja? Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, but like uh, if you're gonna be standing around for long periods of time, I, I don't think this is this is it. You probably want something a little bit more like soft, but uh, it's comfortable in its own way. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I can't really describe or put it, but it's comfortable in its own way comparing it to like I guess the Epic React or whatever. So um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, the only thing I I think that most people won't buy the shoe is because of the aesthetics. Yeah, I think so. so. The price is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Unless you're just like a, a runner who's really, really into the free run vibe. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is for you. Exactly. So anyways, that's a review of the free run 5.0. If you guys want to cop, we'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.